All right, Wilson. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We got, in the last video, man, you told me that if you had a JBL Extreme 3, you did not see a need to upgrade to the JBL Extreme 4 because you don't need all those, like, lifestyle features, like the added. Yeah, unless you're looking for it. All right, which are, dude, stability, come on, man. The JBL Extreme 3, it's not a stable speaker. This is like that ex-girlfriend that's crazy as hell and it's just all over the place and you can't deal with it. You know what I'm saying? But this one, this is your rock solid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got the bass, right? But what else was there that they added? Uh, the, the battery, you don't, dude, guys. Oh, by the way, you're, you're here. Welcome to New Stuff TV 2, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Let's figure out which $400 speaker we gonna spend our money on Richardson because this thing, the JBL Extreme 3 retails at $380 uh, and the JBL Extreme 4, it's not out in America yet in the t at the time of this video, but I'm pretty sure when it launches, it'll be about 380. Uh, so for all intents and purposes, we got two $400 speakers here and Wilson is gonna decide. I'm gonna try to convince Wilson to, to, to go with the Extreme 4. Cause I'm an extreme three hater. I've always hated this speaker, but I actually really like the floor. <laughs> so Wilson, you don't care about a removable, replaceable battery? Oh, well, I mean, it's for you. If, if you already have the extreme three, I don't think you really need the extreme four. What happens when your battery dies? You gotta go buy a whole new speaker. All right, I'll give you that. Hey, Rayla, do you mind? The, I, I'm trying to work over here, bro. Do you have a sticker burr in your beard? Come here, 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 open. Oh, now you want to sit there and get your butt over here. He does. He has a sticker burr in his beard. <laughs> All right. So um, what was I saying? So you don't need a removable battery. You say if it, why are you getting, why are you showing his butt, dude? That's Raylan. He got your booty out. This ain't a dog's only fans. Let's get, let's get that out of there. All right. So if your battery dies, you got to buy a whole new speaker, right? Mm -hmm or maybe take it to a specialty repair shop. Raylan, are you trying to do OnlyFans right now? You trying to show you your buns on camera? <laughs> I was trying to protect my guy, but he's all for it. <laughs> oh man. So you would just rather go buy another speaker or, well, you'd buy another speaker anyway, because you got to get the four in yeah. order to get the removal. Well, I'm battery. saying if you already have the Extreme 3, there's no need for you to go out and get the Extreme 4. Okay, fine, man. But I'm still gonna try to convince you. Uh, what about this thicker size? It's, it's thicker. You know, it's got a little more girth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this thing is chunky, man. It's, it looks good. Well, okay, which one looks better to you? Uh, the four. The four. I have to give it to. It just four. looks like a freaking weapon. Mm. Like, it's, it's thick, man. Oh, man, that's what's up. Okay, and then... <laughs> really, so, all up in my shot. <laughs> all up in it, man. All up in it. So, as far as the strap goes, we're still strapping. No handle, like I requested JBL. JBL, Extreme 5, can I? Can your boy get a handle? Okay. We're still doing the strap. It's still adjustable. Still got the Corona opener on there. If, you, if you're doing the that kind feature. of life. Huh? That's the best feature, the right? Best feature. The Corona opener. <laughs> um... Now, with the button layout, which button layout do you like more? Because um, me personally, I don't like neither one of them. <laughs> yeah, I would have to agree to you. Uh, so in the last video, we have mentioned that we wish the buttons were swapped on the Extreme 4, and I have to agree. Yeah, so what we talked about was, you see how these buttons are just, like, you can see them. They're lit up and like they're, you know, just the contrast and everything. And these are kind of camouflaged within the mesh. I wish that they would swap that. And because these are the buttons you use all the time, the play and the pause and the up and down. This button you press once to turn it on and you're done. And this present button you only press once, probably ever. And then the overcast, you know, just once, right? These are the ones you're going to be doing. So I wish they would have swapped that. And on the Extreme 3, it's just as bad. I don't, it's, it is literally just as bad. Like you can't really see the buttons. Because think about it, man. If you think about what they've done here, this is an outdoor speaker, you're going to be doing stuff, right? And they give you a Corona opener. So after you've had two, three Coronas and you're outdoors doing stuff, you ain't got time to be looking for buttons. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's wrong on both fronts. Uh, what about the extra durability? Uh, is it the same IP rating? Same IP rating, IP67. But this one, come on, man, it's got more prominent, you know, 
bump stops. I guess you feel more safer with that one. Dude, if you drop it or anything. I can knock a mofo out with this, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you, you drop it on the concrete, check the concrete. You know, you bump it up against the wall, you're gonna have to repaint it. It's This is solid right here. Okay, let's put this one in front. Um, what else we got? As far as enhancements. Oh, the app, bro. We it's the, Okay, three band EQ, okay, on the JBL Extreme 3. On the JBL Extreme 4, you got a, a, a five-band EQ plus a few presets plus the party extender mode. What is that called? What was it called? You don't remember? Uh, Where it, that, it was party something. Like volume. It, it, you know what? Let me just look at the app. So basically what this app does or this, this feature in the app, it actually boosts your volume and your playtime, but it strips all the bass out. So let's say you're outside. You can't hear the bass anyways, but you still want to hear music. You'll still be able to hear that music and... Um, It'll extend your playtime. Ah, yeah, playtime boost. That's what that is. So you don't care about that? No, that's a pretty good feature too. Yeah, and it's the a quality band of EQ. life. Yeah, I, I count it as a quality of life in my opinion to extend that battery it, life. Am I, am I getting you now? I, I guess so. All right, I'm yeah. digging your pockets, man. You're going to get you one of these things. All right. So battery life, I think it has been improved. Let me check. JBL Extreme 3 battery life. I think it has improved. Let me just double check for you. Arthings.com. Its battery lasts close to 13 hours, while the on-the-go only lasts 4.5 hours on a single charge. However, the on-the-go has a more extensive... Uh, okay, 13 hours? I think that's wrong. I, I don't know why I feel like that's wrong. Uh, JBL Extreme 4 battery life. JBL, with up to 24 hours of battery uh, life, you can play... So, Google says the Extreme 3 is 13 hours, and they say the... Uh, Extreme 4 is 24 hours. Dude, that's that's big. That's huge. Yeah. That's a half full day. Is it worth it? Definitely. Okay. <laughs> if, I you got you. More, I, if you want more battery life. I, I, I got you. I got you. Okay. So I'm, I'm still digging at you though. So we got the speaker booty on the back with the covered up. Um, so in order to keep this thing IP67, you have to keep this flap closed. But back here, we have a 3.5 millimeter input or uh, jack. And then we got the the USB jack right there, along with the USB-C charging. On the JBL Extreme 4, there is no speaker booty, man. It's just the USB-C. You lose the 3.5. There was that one time we needed a 3.5 speaker. Dude, that was last week. That was last week. And, and I we had were... like nine speakers, and I did not have a freaking jack. It was like the only time I've ever needed it. Yeah, but it's like the very rare occasion where you needed a 3.5. Okay. Is yeah. that a deal breaker? Uh, uh, not entirely. I mean, how often are you really going to use it? The one time in my like eight years of YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> that you okay. needed a 3.5 and you didn't yeah. have one. Okay. All right. So it's not a deal breaker, but I need to let you guys know. What else is different about these things? It's, it's just little subtleties. You know what I'm saying? Little quality of life things that could make or break the deal for somebody, make you pull out that extra money. But if you already got one and you was thinking about getting another Extreme 3, don't do that. Get an Extreme 4 because even though... The Extreme 4 uses RCAS, and the Extreme 3 uses um, Party Boost. Yeah, there you go. They can still be connected. You cannot press the button on each one and get them connected. That does not work. What you have to do is go inside the app. I'm not doing that again because it was cumbersome. It's tr the, the setup method, when it works, it's beautiful. But when it ain't working right, it's trash. Absolute trash. Sony and JBL, get on your apps to how you connect these things and, and fix it. Fix it. <laughs> I was so mad. Anyways, so you can connect the two of them and play them in stereo. No, not in stereo. You can only do stereo if you got two matching uh, fours or two matching threes. But you can party boost them together. And it's not party boost. It's party group. Is that what they call party it? Party group. Something, something like, like that. Yeah. I don't want to be misnaming nothing. The JBL boys come after me with the pitchforks. But uh, I guess now it just sound, right? Because that's the most important thing. Yeah, let's hear how they sound. All right, man, which one you want to hear first? Uh, let's hear the Extreme 3. All right, let's I mean, go with that one. Let's go with the 3. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them right here so you can hear them. I'm going to let these straps hang from the back. Now, I'm going to go into my Epidemic sound, man. You, you want some more of that house? Let's hear, yeah, let's hear that one that we were listening to earlier. This one? I think that one was it. Oh, this, this, this is the 3. Okay, let me get the volume straight. Is this a song? I think it was, it was Soul on Fire. Oh, Soul on Fire. Yeah. Did I save that song? Oh, I did. Okay. 
this joint right here. All right. Let me get them 50%. Hold on. Okay, this is the three. 50%. Let me know when you want me to change over. Yeah, good. That's good. Let's switch it. Switch it. Sounds kind of similar. Let's let it ride a little bit. Dude, I just want to stand up and, and shake something. Is it a little louder? You think so? Or brighter. I'm in the back. You're in the back? I mean, I can't I can't hear the highs I, like you hear. I think it's a little, the extreme force is a little brighter in sound. Think so? I think so. All right, just in case the music was too loud, he said the he thinks the extreme four highs are a little brighter. Yes. Okay. Whereas this is I fucking hate this piece. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good. It does. It sounds good. I don't know why I don't like this thing, man. I ain't never like <laughs> but it does sound good. I just personal things, okay? Anyways. You ready to do 100%? Sure, let's do it. I'm a back. We'll do 100 to like 80. Let's go it all, all the way. All the way all up. All the way to okay. 100. Let's okay. do it. Okay. Same song? Same song. All right, I'm, I'm going to run it back a little bit. Everyone's going to think we're having a party in here. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. Um, dang, where's my thing at? Okay, let's put it back on the three. Let's crank it up. I'm going to back up for this. Back up. Loud. Back the truck up. Here we go. So oh, man. <laughs> You had enough? Yeah. I remember why I can't stand the speaker. <laughs> Do you did you hear it? No, I think you can explain it better. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you turn the speaker, okay, 50% it sounded pretty good, right? Really good, in fact. And so did this one. But as soon as I cranked it up to like 80 or 100, it was maxed out at 100. All the bass is gone. Did you feel that too? Oh, that, yeah. Okay. You didn't feel it. I wasn't really paying attention. I was just grooving with the it music. Was <laughs> I was it was vibing. It was vibing. Okay. Music. okay. I'm sorry. Okay, let me let you listen. Let me let you. <laughs> Dude, you're supposed to be working, bro. Man. We're working. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. All right. This is the three. Four. Oh shit. Oh, I messed up. Hold on. Okay, I'm not hearing I'm I'm in the backside. What are you truly hearing? Uh well definitely the four is definitely brighter, for sure. That's hundred percent. Right? What yeah. about the bass at full volume? The bass drops off harder on the three than okay. it does on the four. That's all I'm saying. It's still gonna drop off on any speaker. Mm -hmm. That's what they do to preserve battery and distortion. But this one just, it just drops. It's like it falls off a freaking cliff. And that's why, that's why I remember why I don't like it. Yeah, that's it right there. That's just me though. How about you? Which, which one you rolling with? Let's say you already have a three. I already have a three. Mm -hmm. And I'm in the market for another speaker. 
No, the Gordon's... four just came out, and you don't want to have the FOMO. You All right. Like... <laughs> okay. You know what? I, I will give it to you. The quality of life and the improved like, sound of the four is definitely better than the three. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Because I'm a JBL3 hater. I do not like this speaker. <laughs> I'm, be, I'm being straight up with you guys. Do, y'all know I don't like this speaker. I really like the four. <laughs> JBL, you have you brought me in. Okay. Now Wilson is in. We in, Wilson. All right. So now the three, does it, what what happened to the three? Shove it off. It, it Just, goes. Okay. We got to turn it off. We don't want to waste energy. Just roll your ass up out of here. There you go. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is the JBL Extreme 4 is here, baby. <laughs>